Hello and welcome to Team No Solo Plays. I am your host, Jack Blade, and I am here with L.A. Noir, a mystery thriller drama type game, whereas you're playing as the police force trying to solve the various mysteries of L.A. I decided to start a new game, went and went through the tutorial. And now I am starting on the first mission on the, let's see, yeah, in the traffic div division. This is a rather long game, but I figured, you know, I think this would be good to watch and, you know, see how I do as a detective. I do like the style of this game just because I like the old noir mystery plus I think it's cool how they did it back in the 50s so now let our little adventure begin yeah in There's case you didn't know kid. I'm playing as Cole the Phelps. hot sheet is posted here next to the map what's his problem that's Biggs he's an institution this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Huh? Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping that an eye on you. That suit just I looks spend a little time tacky. And reflected That's glory. just my opinion. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was I that? think it's the arms Roy that Earl, do it for Chief me. Detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, I think I can you actually make switch You'll find out. suits after I get out of this cutscene. Now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division, welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He has, He's the um... cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. Order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet it, <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. My war hero is always so modest. I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up. You'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Yeah, I've... I've I'm played through you, a, a few of the missions, but not... I think I've only played through, like, two or three. I can't remember. But it's been about a year since I actually played. Um, what do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. I thought there's. Oh, there we are. Um. Yeah, that's what I want. The sword of justice. I'm. I'm much prefer. My favorite colors are red, black, and blue, and honestly, I think blue looks good on them. Uh, which way is out? Can I go through that door? Those doors? No. Um. Oh, there's an exit sign. Duh. Don't run into the radiator and. 
into the car. I like the style of these old cars, man. They, they you know this cool. place? Sure. When the Near fuck the did you get in? Signal depot in the warehouse. I'll direct. So, so you don't worry, really so, Phelps. Are we friends now? Because we have to work together. Get, 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 get out of my way, woman. San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Shipped but yes, I, I figure since lieutenant. I I've had this game for about a year now and haven't played it. I'd you know go ahead and give it a shot. So you won the silver star. Yeah, this was my birthday present that. last year from well, my good friend Ark Rose. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. Yeah, I couldn't decide on a game, no. saw this, and like, eh, We're up why not, since night. it's a complete Great edition, night. which is four discs long, so it's like, Finished. oh, this is going to be a long yep, game. Yep, for Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? Wee. I kept the speeds of L.A. safe. You know, I know I'm not going very fast, but it now definitely it feels like it. Unfit for I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riot. Sounds like you got it. Ah, there it is. Code two identified. Eleven King, go ahead, KGPL. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Chase scene. Get the hell away from me. Get out of my way, dumbass. Sorry. Hurry, you can still catch him. Oh, I vaguely remember doing this one. Chase him since yeah I can't can't stop him. Now, are we gonna make a bargain or what? Put the weapon down now. Damn it. Yeah, I'm going to give that another shot because that was disrespect. That, that was that was sad. So going past the cutscene and trying to stop the the guy. Come on, Cole. Is somebody going to tell us what the hell is going on? That works. That was uneventful. Alright, if you want to drive, buddy. Uh, 
Okay, whatever. Onward to mystery! Take the next right. Ah, uh, yes, we're at the train yard. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. All right, well, on to our first mystery. You giving me the hi-hat? Okay, not gonna talk to the witness quite yet. Have you got a wide shot of the car and its surround? Listen, you and I have never met, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say this once. If you don't tell me how to do my job, I won't tell you how to do yours. Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Fuck. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. That's... Well... Not everything here is going to be well with it, I guess. Well, there's no blood on that. What do we got here? Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Huh... Wow, live hog for three dollars and twenty cents? That was a different time. Well, well, the tire iron definitely isn't a clue. Um, what? Could this be pig blood? Looking around, looking around. Huh? This isn't what we're looking for. Why is a bloody pipe up? Well, I guess if they took off with you it. You guys, take your time. No freight rolling through again until we're done. Oh, there we are. God 
damn it. Get the There we go. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Okay. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Hmm. Jesus, that time. smile. And he kind of looks like an older Drew Carey. God damn that woman's smile. <laughs> Feels like she's gonna like kill me or something. Okay, so that's all the clues. Um Okay. And that that receipt, that's interesting. F signed by F. Morgan. Hmm. Well, better go talk to the witness now. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better Fair take point. a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Eh, fair point. Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. He looks to be telling the truth. When you saw the blood, was it wet? Bright red? Or uh, darker, like it is now. Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Huh? Looks to be telling the truth. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Okay, yeah, he's lying. I'm not sure if I actually have. Um. Well, I can't. Can't be that. I know he's obvious. Obvious to lie, but I don't know if using the wallet. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was going to steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkins. Yay! We'll if we need anything more from you. If you yeah, have to, I guess. That's the one thing between a, really a lie and a, 
a doubt, you Let's have to have ones. evidence if you're gonna here, we'll do a if you're gonna call him out on a lie. But a doubt, you can you know kind of just call him out on it. Yeah, I'll have you're him drive. The wheel. And where exactly are we going? Okay, so just kind of do some mental think about the case. We have a car full of blood, a bloody pipe, a receipt for a live hog, the repaired glasses, and then the wallet with Drew Carey and the lady that will probably eat my soul. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm not good at the shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. Sounds like I got a kitty cat trying to get in my room. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be Okay, injured. she looks a lot less we creepy now. On the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Insta-Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that OK? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. That's not a very flattering picture, if you ask me. I mean, hell, at least, you know, smile a little. KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thank you. Okay. I guess we will go check that out after we're finished here. This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here?
to my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Nicole? That's... Hmm? A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. I'm surprised his wife hasn't, you know, found this, considering it's just out in the freaking open. Okay. Well, the Kavanaugh's bar. Um. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. What's that say? Huh. Simple things we, you know, took for, we take for granted now. Okay, it's set outside the kitchen window, so I think it's over here. Yep, right here. No use leaving the thing half finished. Um, well, it clearly doesn't go there. Um, that makes sense. Detective and plumber. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's here is the same one. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. It's a nice little home, I'll give them that. Help me out. Get a statement from Mrs. Black, but go easy on her. She's had a rough day. Yeah, I think we have a good enough evidence to conduct an interview. Hmm? Oh, it's significant. I'm all right now, Detective. Yeah. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. Very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Okay, so that's how she looks when she's telling the truth. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? 
Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently. Well, she did just say that he goes out drinking a lot with Seattle Morgan. Lot been away in Seattle. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Fair enough. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Okay, that's interesting, because the ones we found were broken, and these ones, he said, just got a new pair. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Oh, the train ticket. Okay, that makes sense. Well, please hurry. My husband might be injured. You and your husband are in separate bedrooms. What gives? Did you want him out of the way, Margaret? No, I did not. My husband and I may have drifted apart. Damn it. But it, it wasn't my choice. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. But he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Oh, cool. Rank 12, my favorite number. Woo! Well, time to go to Kavanaugh's bar. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Uh, where are we going? Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. 
If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Eh. Now I just gotta figure about... What was it, Frank Morgan? Oof. Sorry about that, that was my chest popping. Don't... Yeah. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. J.W. Robinson are having sales. You looking for someone? Don't you know? She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Call these the Ritz? Frank Morgan? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Oh, you're gonna be an ass. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He He's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Yeah, because we have the receipt for a live hog. So... You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's falling for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Um, I think he's telling the truth. How was he getting Damn it. there? I don't know. Maybe a greyhound? You guys ought to, you know, vertical axis is walk. Well, that's third dimension. You can see, it'll be popping out of the screen. It's ridiculous. God's name would want people scoffed at the idea of talking to me. Francisco Valdez. Sure do, fell you too. And get gloves and doing his best. Can you beat that? <laughs> this guy waiting. Are you the senior? I'm detective. Have you any idea how you? Fuck. Keep me here like a cup friend. Let's take a deep breath. Mr. Valdez, counsel, insist on my full title. Where did you? My second purchase. Place at Dewey Brothers. As soon as I can have it arranged, brought up from Buenos Aires. And Valdez. Far. I decided the I was not involved in the transit. Stop. I will stand. General, we have located Tell us how it was stolen. It must have rush. Terribly. I want the perpetrate law. And Fort Worship. Or do I share? There's no call for violence. I suspect car dealers. Kid? Like the archangel, no surname. So tell You had a... Mechanical. Man who did not know his place. Presume to ask me. A lot of presuming here in the United States. It comes with the turf. Oh, this... This is So a console file with a junior car mechanic. Believe that that's all that happened? Expect you... Ooh, shit, 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 shit. This I'll be talking to the gangster squad. They're gonna love your diet. Let's nail this king up. Okay. Keep. 
Thank God. In a couple of hours. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. How much further do you gotta go? I, I don't like tailing. Good thing he doesn't think I'm driving recklessly when I drive through all these red lights. Yes, I understand. Because let's be honest. Uh, playing Delgado here. any kind of GTA game, you're here. not gonna abide the stoplight. You know, I love the you know the minor details that they do for the characters. I don't think this is anything. here alone me to believe that his motive was all please don't yell at me. nothing wrong Tell has gabriel been i haven't seen him it's... you keep you and your baby he lived home enough anna the place that he's been back he was here last night never seen him so angry out to his shed and put something what and i don't want to know love him we found a license to go in the shed. Adam, you make Gabriel for a dozen times to get serious, Anna. Gabriel, car parts. <sighs> You're lying, Anna. I sent these robberies. Who have that I stole the cars? You come into my assault? And bully known many policial. Israel wasn't at work. Would never go back. Woo! Can you tell us where he is? If we have to track him down badly for him, this way. I win! And in Enrique, corner of First and San. Gabriel, to stop. Listen. As soon as we cornered Gabriel, you had your chance to go. Eh, good enough. You know where well, the kid is. Let's come off the street. With that being said. Join me next time. Like, favorite, and subscribe if you're enjoying this series and want to see more. And peace!